Welcome back, Rankers. Uh, first of all, just a quick shout out to everybody in New Zealand, especially on the on the South Island and in Christchurch. Um, terrible earthquake yesterday, in case you haven't heard, in case you've been away from media of every description. Um, yeah, it's all over the net and everywhere else, but if you want to get some resources, you're looking for some resources, uh, whether it's to find people, find out what's going on, um, just go to Google, type in Christchurch, and you'll get all the relevant details. Google in times like this, and unfortunately we've had a few of them of late, um, they'll put all the information right at the top of that particular search. So if you just put Christchurch in there and you'll find all the resources um, that uh, Google knows about anyway. Um, if you want to find out more about it on Twitter, then the uh, there's plenty of, uh, just put, you, you can follow a hashtag or you can just put a search in for, for Christchurch. And uh, at the moment it's still, uh, well, you can see it there, it's, um, it's, it's a very fast tweet stream basically. It's a lot happening. So good luck everyone in New Zealand. I know we've got a lot of uh, Kiwi viewers and uh, we were in uh, Christchurch just in September last year. So good luck. Uh, now on to uh, brighter things. Well, I don't know about brighter, but JCPenney, you've mucked it up for all of us. Seriously. Do you remember my personal blog site, jimboot.com, where I get to bang on about things that everybody else in the company doesn't want me to bang about, on about in the, uh, in the company blog? And I said, oh, look at me. Oh, I've got uh, three and a half thousand backlinks, and I picked them up in just a year, and I didn't even try. Well, look at the number now. I've lost 1,300. I know, careless, I hear you. But it wasn't my fault. I blame JC Penny. Why? Well, JC Penny, in case you missed that story, uh, it's on the Stuart Media blog, Dirty Secrets of Search. Uh, basically, they went out and bought a lot of backlinks, which is a bit a big no-no, and, and Google found out, well, Google was told. And uh, so then, basically, uh, Google's algorithms have started to work, according to Matt Cutts, because they changed something in the algorithm to downgrade a lot of these basically junk links that uh, JC Penney's had uh, bought. And what seems to be a uh, consequence of that for all the rest of us is that uh, links that were coming from, say, Amplify.com or Memo.sh or all of these other sites that were re-scraping um, uh, Twitter feeds and those sorts of things and repurposing the content. Uh, those links... Mm -mm. Google's not counting them anymore. So, um, once again, humility when it comes to the Google algorithm. But thanks for nothing, JC Penny. And finally today, uh, last week in Australia, we had the Online Retail Forum. And that was a, a federal government initiative to tell retail businesses that it's a good idea to get online. Yeah, I know. It's 2011. Sorry. But they did, and I think it was mainly for the benefit of uh, Jerry Harvey. And uh, I don't know if he was there or not, but there was a lot. I was following the, the, the tweet stream, and I was following the video stream as well, which crashed out a couple of times. But overall, there's some really good uh, case studies and presentations. Um, but one of the things that's come out is that the Council of Small Business Australia uh, has said or alluded that there may be some sort of collusion between Google and the big brands. When it now, that's all the story says in the uh, in computer world. I'll just take you to that story. And the hashtag in Twitter, if you want to have a read of some of the tweets that went out about this, is ORF11. But the impl the <laughs> they're implying that somehow Google is teaming up with the big brands. But then, as Phil Lay points out of SEO Moves, and he was there, uh, he says, uh, well, it's because one, one of the points that was apparently made was that if you're selling someone else's brand online, it just all becomes about price. Who uh, has the lowest price? And um, uh, But as Phil Lay points out of SEO Moves, is don't forget the user experience and the ability to be found. Now, of course, yeah, he's an SEO guy, so he's going to say that. But it's true. If no one can find you, well, they're not going to buy from you, are you? Are they? And the first place people start to look when they're when making a purchasing decision 
is in Google. And, you know, as Phil says, they're all in caps. It's not all about price. And he's a shouty bloke, and he likes to shout, so that's why he does that a lot, puts it all in caps like that. Hi, Phil. And that is it for today's show. Um, uh, if you've got anything you want to hear about, any questions, like uh, Jason Munn uh, asked me last night, uh, just reach me on Twitter or the Facebook page. Um, uh, Jason wanted to know uh, what the latest search engine market share is in Australia. Well, it's Google. Forget about everything else. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.